Hey, thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and I like to talk about WordPress plugins, tutorials, themes, and everything in between, and show you guys how to better use WordPress for your personal site, your business site, client sites, or anyone else's site that you may be working on. Today, we're going to talk about the best beginner friendly WordPress forms plugin that I've used, and that one is WP Forms. So I'm going to give you the top five reasons why I think WP Forms is the best forms builder for beginners. Before we get started, we have a Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash press avenue, where you can follow up on um, these kind of tutorials and ask further questions. Additionally, you can do it in the YouTube comments below a video. Um, and here are a few of the videos that we have made. All right, so let's get into it. So the number one reason is it's easy to use. Now, a lot of people can say like, oh yeah, you can jump into any plugin and it's easy to use. And it really isn't the case. Some plugins are hard to use. The learning curve goes way up and sometimes that's appropriate, but for a simple forms plugin, um, it's not. To show you very quickly, we'll head over to a staging site that I have where I have WP Forms installed. And if you haven't seen it before, uh, here it is. And they got some new integrations and I've created various forms below with other tutorials that I've made based on WP Forms. But to quickly walk you through it, I can click add new and it loads their form builder. Um, if you want a simple contact form, I can click create a contact form, which is, I'd say 100% of websites actually need a contact form. So this is perfect. Name, email, comment, save. So I just built a form in, you know, five seconds ish. If you want to add additional things, say we want a checkbox, I just click checkbox. I can drag it up here and now I have other options and it's very quick. So that's number one reason why I like WP Forms. Number two is the fantastic support. So if you have an issue, sometimes you'll reach out to the developer and you'll never hear back. You'll just hear crickets or they'll tell you to ask your administrator, which really doesn't help because that's usually you or me or whoever. Um, so support is really great. So that's number two. And the reason I bring that up is people kind of expect help from the people that develop these plugins and sometimes help is non-existent. All right. So number three, um, they're always improving. So what I mean by that is they're always adding new features and new updates. For example, I logged in today to create this video for you. And right at the top, it says introducing WP form webhooks and you can create powerful integrations. So a webhook will let you, and it basically tells you here, automatically send data from forms to other tools and apps. For example, if you use Zapier, which is Z-A-P-I-E-R.com, you can have a webhook fire off of your web form that you create with WP Forms. It goes into Zapier and they have thousands of apps you can connect to. So one way I've used this before is for donations. So I would say if somebody donated X amount of dollars towards our campaign, someone would get a text message on their phone saying, hey, you got X amount of dollars in your um, donation form. And I'd also include the phone number. And what a lot of nonprofits would do is right then they'd call them up and they'd say, hey, Thank you so much for that donation. Now, a lot of people say, you know, you can do that through email and I don't need these extra features. But if you think about it, I get hundreds of emails a day uh, and I get buried in email. But if I were to receive a nonprofit, you know, donation, I can get a text immediately to my phone. I can drop everything and call them. Or maybe you just call people that do thousands plus in a donation. So that's just one way to do it. Um, I've also done ways where, if, you know, certain amount of things came in through the form. You can make an Internet of Things thing light up. So number three is just features uh, to walk you through some of the other ones they do. When I first started using these guys, I think they had 
maybe these first six here and then it cut off. There were no additional ones and they keep adding stuff. So at first they had PayPal and Stripe. Now they have authorized.net, which a lot of people use. They had MailChimp, but now they've added Active Campaign and Salesforce. Um, they did have this drip one, but now they've added Zapier. There was that thing I was talking about before. Form pages add on, ab abandonment, lockers, add ons, etc. And then suggest a feature. What's nice about this is they listen. Um, so this blends into number four is the add ons they provide cover the bases. You know, you can always say 99%, if not 100% of the users out there. So if you're creating a survey or say you're creating an application for employment, you would most likely use um, the pages add on here, maybe the, the offline one, the signature uh, Zapier, so you can send it to various people, um, possibly a newsletter, definitely a spam, definitely an upload. If you're creating a donation form or you're taking money, again, everyone gets the drag and drop form builder with this. Um, maybe you'd add them as a user registration so they can see more information and then the payment gateways. So this really covers a lot of bases for most people. And that would be number four. Those kind of blended together. And lastly, number five, the price. Um, a lot of people cringe when you talk about premium plugins. But with a premium plugin, you get everything, um, which is really nice. What I like about their pricing is they have a lot of sales. So it's similar to Kohl's where everything is on sale every day. Um, if you don't have a Kohl's, it's a department store. But um, these guys, they always have a sale. And right now is November 17th and they have a big sale coming up. So you can always stay tuned and see if something is coming up for you. But I do think the pricing is very nicely laid out for um, businesses. So typically people jump into a basic 39 bucks a year. That's easy for unlimited forms, unlimited support, unlimited updates. And the big thing you're paying for is this right here. So when you ask support, hey, this isn't working with whatever theme I bought over here and these plugins over here, can you help? And they can help. And that's what's really great about it. So for 40 bucks a year for support on a form, I think is really great. Now you don't have to pay, they have a light version. So if I come back here, I come back here to plugins, you will see they have WP Forms Lite. So if I deactivate this, activate this. And what's really nice about Lite is, one, it's free. Number two, you can see and get a feel for how all of this works without spending any money, and that's really nice. And if you need a simple contact form, you don't need all the paid stuff. You just need a simple contact form. So great tutorial here on how to do everything, but we'll go to create our first form. And then it's loading. And again, this is the WP Forms Lite version. Now before I had the Pro installed and I had a whole bunch of other options. But again, simple contact form, newsletter sign up or a suggestion or a blank form, all things that, um, most people could use right out of the gate and save a few bucks, which is very helpful right now. Um, so here we have the standard fields. And yes, there's all these other fancy fields for the paid version, but you can get a lot of information from this. You could do an employment um, application. You could do a real estate application. It'll be simpler, but that's fine. It doesn't always have to be complicated. So that's my top five reasons to use WP Forms. If you want to learn more about WP Forms, I have a link in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but they may throw me a couple bucks here or there um, if you buy it, and they may not. Additionally, in YouTube, I'll post a playlist. I've created nine videos on WP Forms because I like them so much, and they do lots of different things. For example, I talked about donations and um, how to take money, etc. So we have that in here. Again, thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. If you like this, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you loved it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell next to it. And again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.